Salam, ni hao, anyang kaseyo, sawadi ka, kamusta, privyet, bonjour, gudag, hello everybody, this is Sandy and welcome to my channel. Okay, so I am doing my all kids reaction weekend and today I'm doing some kids that I've never heard of. I don't even know what this child's name is. It's not on the link. Um, but she's a painter. She is not a singer. And this is the first time I will have ever um, seen anything by her or about her. So this is an eight minute long video. There will be pauses for copyright purposes. I will try to be as unintrusive as possible. So just giving y'all a heads up. So let's find out who this is and what this is about called Only Human. To some, genius is an arbitrary label. The strict definition is an outstanding artistic or intellectual ability. Oh, that's gorgeous. In short, extreme that's talent. Life, not a painting. 13 year old Akiana Chromeric fits the bill perfectly. And she has a unique claim behind her gift. The earliest memory I could recall is probably when I was around four and a half, four years old. One day, I started having these very amazing and mysterious visions. His voice was following me, guiding me through these galaxies. And he, I asked him, do you know, who are you? And I started calling him God. Akiana hey. is an art prodigy from Idaho who claims that God told her to paint. Wow. For nine years, she hasn't stopped. Oh my. <laughs> I like to say me and God are both in control of everything. Like a, so he tells me an idea and I could just take that idea and make it better and polish it better and just put it into paints. So he's like my personal teacher, <laughs> my tutor. She was four years old when I knew there was something special about her because she was describing a lot of new things on spiritual matters and also she started drawing exceptionally well. Akiana developed an intense <laughs> interest in sketching. By five years old, she was already drawing at a level way beyond her years. Myself, I thought she was dreaming. I thought there was something made out of an imagination. And when she started describing it more and more, it, it became apparent that this was actually something that did happen. Oh, By eight, wow. Akiana was painting portraits on giant canvases. It kind of took me aback because we never read the Bible or we didn't have any kind of spiritual connection. With no artists in her family, she was completely self-taught. This is actually one of my absolutely favorite and most memorable painting. This is called The Prince of Peace. Um, when I was, I painted this when I was eight years old with oils. <laughs> many, many artists all around the world, they always ask me, so how did you do this and how did you do that? And I was like, I don't know, I just did it. <laughs> oh, it's it's, my it's God. very complicated for uh, you know, a child to, to explain what they did. The only way they could explain is through you know, painting or through their creativity. Described by art critics as a phenomenal talent, she has now produced more than 100 paintings, ranging from realist portraits to fantastic landscapes and the natural world. They can each take anywhere from 15 to 300 hours to complete. Akiana's genius could be explained by sheer hard work. Homeschooled, she gets up at 4 a.m. six days a week and paints for up to five hours a day. Wow. Just, just really cool to see the lights. Just really cool. <laughs> sometimes there are days, you know, sometimes when she's finishing up a painting, she might uh, paint for 12, 14 hours. And I would ask her to uh, take breaks and have something to eat or drink, and sometimes she would refuse. Akiana only studies the subjects she enjoys. She loves printing 
publishing her, her books and poetry and art, and that's what she loves doing and let her do all day long. I don't ask her to ever do math. If critics say, no wonder she's a genius because she's devoting all her time for art, then it would be a better place in the world that there would be more people who are interested in focusing their energy to the fields that they are interested in. Yeah. 13-year-old art prodigy Don't let that Akiana no Kameri absolutely believes that her God-given talent that goes is behind her extraordinary success. Doing art, a lot of perspective and geometry. She's going to be just fine. Today, at a local gallery selling prints of her work, she has come for a meet and greet with some of her fans. Have you ever had any visions of heaven? Yes, actually, um, for a couple years, since I was four to seven years old, I had constantly visions of heaven, and I use those visions and I paint them. When I'm thinking that, you know, you're at your age and you're already, you know, so established in this industry, you know, I look up to you. Oh, thank you. That's a very inspiration to me. Thank you. She's really been in touch with another dimension that is not common to our normal human experience. It's definitely projected. She's like a projector from God <laughs> onto a canvas. Wow. An artist God. since the age of four, this is no mere hobby for Akiana. Her prints alone sell for thousands of dollars. At home, she is the sole breadwinner, with her parents and brothers carrying out specific roles in her business. Being the main money maker in the house is a great responsibility, but you, actually when I paint, I just don't feel like I'm making uh, money, I'm making the business, but it just feels like I'm having fun with the painting. But Akiana's genius has made her family rich. Since it's slow now and the economy's kind of a little flattened out, I probably do, or we do, I should say we, uh, 50 prints uh, a month. Now a print is $1,800 US dollars to $3,100. On top of the $100,000 plus a month they make from prints, every so often they sell an original. Well, the most originals are between $100,000 and $300,000. Mm. Uh, our, our highest uh, one sold is $175,000. And that was a challenge. That was the, the one with the horse in the middle of the pine trees with the, in the snow. And it sold to a rancher uh, down in Texas. We try not to sell the originals. You know, she has control. Because all of this you see here is all hers. So when she's 18, this is hers. I walk out of the picture and I do something else. And the fruits of Akiana's labor? A new million-dollar family home. Jimmy painting in this area here. Oh, she's got a nice studio. Uh, we'll have her we'll probably easel here. I don't know if an easel on this wall or easel on that wall. But we also gave her a little kitchenette where she'd be able to have her daily coffee or tea, wash her brushes. <laughs> They're going to try to make her eat somehow. But is this a normal childhood for a 13-year-old girl? There's no such thing. If a normal childhood normal is to childhood. sit in front of television and just be on cellular yeah, phone for three, is. four hours a day, I don't know if that's normal ch childhood. Um, I consider a normal childhood being able to serve, to, to serve other people, to help other children, to enjoy what you're doing, to be together with a family. Yeah, I agree on that. I have nothing to add to that one. She's not missing out a thing. Oh, that was eight minutes. That went by way faster than I expected. Wow. Okay. Well, I now feel completely inadequate in my artistry. Oh my God. The the details in those paintings was absolutely insane. Now I'm feeling inspired. I've got videos to do, but now I want to paint. <laughs> okay. Um, 
Yeah, I'm so glad I watched that. I, I need to watch more of this sort of thing. So I've have been putting my painting on the back shelf here. That's my last one. Um, I don't know if you can really see it. And uh, yeah, I need to get back to that as well. I've got a whole long list of things to do. Okay, you guys, thank you. Whoever recommended this to me, thank you so much. This was uh, incredible. Um, I want to see more of her stuff. You guys have a wonderful afternoon. Welcome to Rakhmet. Sheshe. Kamsahamnida. Terenum like a say. Spasibo.